All right, I'm in here at Solar Dynamics' new office at 14 Grand Ave in Kitchener. Um, unfortunately, the power is out today. Um, they're doing some work at the end of the lines, so wasn't expecting this when I came in. But uh, luckily, we've got a new unit that we've just got in. That's a battery backup system, and this is a perfect opportunity to test it out for the first time. Um, you can see here that I've got a power cord plugged into it. I'm drawing about 274 watts. Um, I'm using the 110 volt output, but you can see on here there's lots of different outputs. Uh, you can even go up to a 220. It's got a transformer in there. Um, it's got an inverter. It's got a charge controller. Uh, it's basically an all-around unit that can be used for almost anything. Um, you can see what I'm using right now that's adding up to that around 300 watts is I've got two monitors going, charging my laptop, and obviously it's running the computer as well. Now, the main reason that we got these units wasn't for an application like this. It was actually uh, people coming to us after the ice storm in uh, December in Ontario here, uh, wanting to run their sump pumps, their furnaces, basically emergency power when they lose electricity. Um, so we have this unit put together and you can see on here it can run things like a furnace fan for on this small unit for about five hours uh, it's up to a bigger unit which can go for 20 hours um, key thing that doesn't mean that uh, in one day it would be out furnace fan doesn't run all the time but you can easily keep your house basically at, a, at an okay temperature um, rather than having to basically just use extra blankets um, it's on here just says everything else it can run can run sump pump um, fridge freezer the unit that I've got right here is uh, it's 3,500 watts at maximum but for continuous power I think it's about a thousand watts or it's actually 1350 uh, that it can output our biggest unit can output um, almost 4,000 watts continuously 4,000 watts is pretty much what a standard household would use um, we're selling these units starting at about $2,000 up to about $5,400. That's actually some spring specials. Uh, we're doing a lot of trade shows since we just got these in and they're starting to sell them. So I'll tell you a bit about a few more features. It's not, uh, we call it a solar generator, but really it's just an electric generator that can be charged by a lot of different things. It's got DC charge inputs here. Uh, you can plug solar panels into there. Um, right now I'm using yeah about 300 watts I'd really need one maybe two solar panels and I could keep this thing charged because you can see outside today it's a pretty sunny day I just have two panels out there facing the Sun don't have it set up right now but uh, that would easily be more than enough and at about $250 each those really aren't too expensive um, other ways of charging it if you don't have the solar panels Again, through the DC charge, you can just uh, run your vehicle and have an attachment that goes through the cigarette lighter. And then there's also an option of maybe when the power, if you want to have this unit just sitting ready for when the power goes out, you've got a 110 volt input there that you just charge it and then leave it in your garage for when there's a time that uh, you need it. Okay, and then if it runs out, you can either charge it by your vehicle or a couple solar panels. Um, and you can see on there it's actually got a 220 volt uh, output so you can run it's got a transformer and everything you can run whatever you need to um, if you have any questions you can give us a call at 519-745-3426 or visit our website at www.solardynamics.ca